Look, Paul, there's the moon up there. Oh, wow. Now, I've always wanted to feature celestial bodies on this show, and this is our opportunity to do it. Tonight, we are going to explore the night sky. If you want to explore the night sky at night, you you need to have a telescope. Well, it's just as well that I made one earlier on today. Yes, let's take a look. I've been looking for something to do with astronomy for some time. I always like coming out into the garden during the summer or the winter, for that matter, just to have a look up into the sky when there aren't any clouds around. But to get a better view, you need a telescope. And the nearest that I could get to that was in my price range was in this space lab where you can build your own little telescope right here. Now, I haven't opened this yet. I just. Um, cut the, the tape where it was and I'm going to open up this box now and see what we have got in this lovely little pack that I bought at John Lewis for £16. Now, ooh, little cup. You can do various experiments and things. There's a bottle. What else have we got? Some bits of plastic. Ah! These are little um, glow-in-the-dark uh, planets and stars that you can put on your wall or your ceiling, and I think we might do that. Some more bits of plastic. Ooh, what's this? These look like straws. With little oh. stars on them. A galaxy slime powder. Small lens. Ah, that will be for the telescope and some little screwy thing. Now we've also got a, a pack here with various things. So let's open this up and see what we have got. Is it easy to open? I just <laughs> rip it. Rip it. Can I just rip it open? Oh, rip my it. stuff's blowing away. Huh? Okay. Ah, we've got a lab notebook where you can note down all your experiments, a space lab book, which explains how to do the experiments, I think. Ah, now this is useful. Um, this is a planetary map, depending what time of year it is. I'm not sure how to use that. Uh, a star wheel. <laughs> so I guess this must be something to do with that. Lots of lovely little stickers of the planets. Oh look, there's Uranus. I'm glad to see it's there. Um, other little bits and pieces. Aliens. Stickers. stickers. You can have lots of fun with this. Oh, what's this? A star map or something? Or is this a planetary like map? Like a poster. Constellation creations. Ah, right. These are things that you can see in the night sky. So we've got Leo the lion. We've got Pegasus, the flying horse. And that's that. Wasn't there like the little zipper and the big zipper? The big, yeah. And other bits of card that I'm not sure how to do or what they're supposed to be for. But what I want to build is my telescope. So I'm going to have a look at the instructions and we will have a look to see how we do that. Okay, so I've got my Space Lab book and it says, hello there, we're Professors Mike and Molly. Look, there they are. We are here to help you explore the universe and discover what goes on in our solar system. Join us as we take you through the experiments in this kit with our lab assistant, Techie the Robot. Techie is always asking us tricky questions, so see if you can help us answer them. Well, I hope there are answers to how to build the telescope in here. 
because you know what I'm like when it comes to <laughs> uh, <laughs> crafting. Telescope time. Scientists use something called a telescope to see things far away in space. Make your own following the steps below and see how a telescope works. So we have got our large, medium and small lenses here and we've got our telescope pieces. We also need some scissors and some sticky tapes. I've got that. And of course there's a warning. Never look directly at the sun and do not leave the lenses in direct sunlight. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. So what we need to do is to push the telescope car pieces A, B and C out of the surrounds. I've done that already. And I've left the letters on so as I don't get confused. Right. Okay, so we stick the flat side of the large lens onto the unprinted part of part A and then fold up the tabs. Okay, so this is part A. So I'll take this out now. And we've got that like this. And we'll open up the large lens. It says stick the flat side. Right, okay. Flat side is this. Now, to stick it, I need some sellotape or sticky tape, if I can find the end. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to stick this, to be honest. Maybe a little bit on each. Do you need to like um, have like a sticky bit on both sides? Well, I don't want to stick on the actual bit lens. where, yeah, that's it, the, the lens <laughs> <laughs> on the middle bit. What did you think it was, a mirror? Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm putting a bit of tape on each bit. Like this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And then it says to fold up the tabs, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, until they're all sort of sitting. Upwards. Yeah. Okay. Now I do the same thing with B. It says, uh, stick the flat side of the medium lens onto the unprinted part of B and fold up. Ah, this is B, right, okay. So we need to get the medium lens. Where have my lenses gone? Oh, I hid them. Because otherwise it would burn or something. Yeah, we don't really want it in the direct sunlight. Oh my God. This is why I don't like to do crafts. <laughs> it's very crafty. That's all I'll say about it. One false move and then <clears throat> it's gonna be bad. So we fold this up like this. Okay, so we'll leave that to one side. Ah, and I, hopefully this is easier. <laughs> Still on. Fold up the inner and outer telescope pieces and tape along the edges to secure. Right. So More tape. What, they just fold up like this? Yeah, you don't need... And then it's supposed to be a bit like a... But aren't they both the same size? One is outer and one is... It, it should say what the one's outer, right? It doesn't say. Oh my god. Let me have a look at this one. Are they the same size then? I'm assuming they're just the same size. Fold up the inner and outer telescope pieces and tape along the edges to secure. Maybe one of them isn't as big as the other one. Mm. But they look the same size. God. You 
Jamie. Why did I ever dream up this episode? No idea. <laughs> Do you think it might work? It might. We'll find out tonight. Hopefully there won't be clouds later. All right, turn the page. Aim your telescope at something you want to see in the distance. Not the sun, of course. Pull the main body out from the eyepiece until the image becomes clear. The image is upside down, but don't worry, your telescope is working correctly. Which bit do I look through? The small bit. Yeah. Is it working? Oh, oh yes, I see you. I can see you, but I think it need, you need to be looking at something a little bit further away. Yeah, like something far. It's clear. Is it? Yeah. I wonder if I have thought so. Let's have a look at this cloud. Oh, I can see the trees. Wow, it works. <laughs> Let's see how well it works on the night sky. Yes, hello. Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. I have always been fascinated by the night sky, but due to light pollution, there are very few places in the UK that offer the opportunity to see the moon and all the other constellations at their best. However, Ryslip Lido is one of the places you can go to. Let's take a look when we visit it in 2021. Ryslip Lido was built in 1811. It is an oasis of calm complete with a lake and a beach in the London borough of Hillingdon. After World War II, the facility was developed into a general tourist attraction. A miniature railway operates on weekends, school holidays, and special occasions. As well as being a draw for nature lovers, the site is also ideal for observing the planets in our solar system. Organized after dark stargazing sessions are held several times a year. Ryslip Lido offers the chance to be a kid again, or just a quiet place to sit and watch the world go by.
What do you see? Well, I'm trying to focus on the moon. It's there somewhere. But I really wanted to see Uranus. And it's nowhere to be seen. I guess we just need a stronger telescope. See you next time. Bye.